welcome to Amen, Amen Arts. Welcome to my world and enjoy continuous drawing. Amen Arts, welcome to my world. We are in Tualatin, Oregon. I'm going to do a quick draw. Um, we'll kind of see how it turns out. We're actually just having a lot of fun today and having a lot of education. So what I'm going to try to do, and you may see a little glitch in this, is I am going to come in and I am not going to lift the pen. And if I do this correctly, which is correctly in my mind, mm -hmm. is I am going to not be concerned that it is what I see in the page, but a, a reference of it or a thought of it. And so when I get lost, it's okay. It's got to be okay, because I'm going to get lost. And they're being really quiet, but they've been noisy all day. <laughs> Are you having fun, ladies? Yes. 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 Okay. So what I'm going to do is just try to do some of the shapes, and then we're going to do some coloration to it. And I'm going to come around here and go over here and do this pointy one. I am not thinking of them as flowers. I'm thinking of them as images, although when I'm doing the shapes, I did get those little stamens in. Do you see those little pieces? Mm -hmm. And then I'm come over here. There's um, a ziggly thing here. What is the ziggly thing I'm doing? Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a rose. So a rose always has like a little cup in it. And I'm falling off the page, that's okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna come down here and there's some ziggly things. What are the ziggly things down here? Leaves. leaves. Okay, and why am I not calling them leaves? Because you wanna focus on the shape. I'm focused on the shape. See, they learned some things. And then we're gonna do this. And then I'm gonna come up here and here's this one here, ziggle, ziggle, up over thing here. Um, the language is gonna be funny because I'm not thinking about the image, I'm thinking of the image and not the actual that it's a flower okay and they are seeing and you are seeing whether i am doing it to anything that's here i won't know that till i'm done why is that everybody because you're going to stand back and look at it i'll and stand right now you're, you're looking at shapes as a, you're, as as a, a you're seeing shapes you're not seeing things so you right. can't know what things you've actually produced exactly i can't see what i'm doing Never until i'm done it. because my brain hasn't allowed me to couple ways to say that. Very have I lifted or have I been pretty good no, about not lifting? Very good. good. Okay. Mm -hmm. These guys have been just fabulous today. They are fabulous artists. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to come up here and do this little thing here. And then I'm going to come up here and do another big one. And I, I get lost. Life's okay. And my pen is being stinky. It's running out. Uh -oh. Ow! I had to pick up because my pen. I did leave the paper. Why did I leave the paper? Your pen. Uh, my pen made me. <laughs> I didn't do it. My pen made me do it. Yeah. Well, you were nearly done. Then. I was nearly done. Okay, and then we got another pokey thing up here. Pokey, pokey, pokey. Pokey, pokey, pokey. There's another little something here. Let's put it in there. A little like that. It's got some inside stuff. Another little drop there. Down here. Let's put another little thing here. And then I want to do some more of these kinds of things. What are those kinds of things? Those little leaf thing, things, flowery things, petal yep. things. Petals, leaves, those something like shapes, that. Shapes. Shapey things. And there would be little <laughs> thingies in here. I'm up. I almost lifted. Did I lift? Okay. All right. Done. Okay. okay. All right. So what did you see that I did here? Oh, you gave the uh, impression of the beautiful flowers and maintained the integrity of the photograph, but yet it's different. So would this Very be different. recognizable to the source where there's copyright infr infringement? I don't believe it no. would be. No. no, and by the time but I finish colors. Yeah, yeah, but when you're looking at the shape, the shape is beautiful, and, you may, and, and that's what I was really referring to as the shape. Yeah, so we've got the essence uh -huh. of the feel the of it. Of it yes. And then you mentioned. Well, I was curious, because you do it pretty quickly, the, the speed of what you're doing helps keep the shapes really loose? Yes, for me it does. Okay. Now, everybody's different, but for me, if I slow down and I start thinking about being flowers instead of Jeez. shapes. Mm -hmm. So for me, if I slow down, my brain switches over to the other part of my brain. Okay. Yeah. And there's, there's a whole discussion whether there's a left and right brain really or not, but who yeah. cares? It, it works for me <laughs> to make sure that I'm doing that. So now I'm going to come in. I'm not going to stay the colors here because I want to go more complementary colors. Mm -hmm. Complementary of yellow is? Purple. Purple. So I'm going to come through and just grab some places that I've got some yellow. It won't match this. Everybody okay with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you can live through this. Okay, so I'm just going to put some yellow somewhere. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is come in with um, M. Graham paints, 
And I'm gonna come in with some of the deep, rich um, quinacridone violet. And I'm gonna just come in with what I see is similar to that. Um, that I'm gonna keep lighter. I wanna do some darkers down here. I'm gonna grab this to a more okay, red well, color. You see that? Mm -hmm. And it's a different than that. And I'm gonna give some of this permission over here the same thing. Now this is gonna be pretty wild and exciting, I think. And then this one, let's grab double loaded. Quite often you're gonna see me double load a brush and that will give me a variance of those two colors. Do I mix it in the palette or do I mix it on the paper? Yes. On the paper. Why do I do that? It makes it more interesting because you get more varied. Plus you don't mess up what's on your palette. Yeah, and so there's a couple reasons I would do that. One of them would be that I actually give more variance of color. There's a more luminous look if you mix it on the paper. And that's pretty much true of most of my work. So I'm gonna come through here a few things. Now I'm gonna come through and get a scary dark for the centers. And because it's juicy, what's gonna happen? It's gonna it's spread. Run. It's going to run. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like a, a very slick paper. It's not a regular watercolor paper. So it's got some things that it's gonna do. Down here, I want another one of those light ones. I'm taking the same color, lots of water. Do you see it's the same color as what I just put in the center? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Let's run that because we can. Okay. And then complementary color of your reds are? Green. Your greens. So let's put some of that in. And I'm giving a little bit of what? I'm giving a little bit of time for those to just settle down a little bit so they don't all run into one big blob. Everybody got that? Yeah. Because if I went exactly at the right time, at the wrong timing, I would end up with more um, running. You said Oregon humidity makes it dry slower? Yes. When I, when I teach in... Idaho, I paint entirely different for the timing than here. That would be true of other states as well. So here I have to give more dry time than I do in Idaho. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've gotten used to teaching in a number of different places that I can actually adjust without thinking too much about it. I'm not going to have it be a clear vase. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have an exciting color. So this is Prussian, and I'm going to drop some in there. I'm going to grab a little bit of the yellow so that we feel like it had some reflective look of that. I'm going to take a big brush, and um, if you'd switch that water for me. I'm going to come here and give a little bit more to the base. And then I'm going to say you can't have all that, so I'm going to get a thirsty brush, which means clean and dry. Say you can't have that. Is this regular watercolor paper? No. no. This is a, a slick kind of UPO paper. Do you see how that did that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that's a little bit drier there. Mm -hmm. It's not dry, but let's all pretend it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. But if I put it in there, I should be able to get a little bit of that color in there. I'm going to do a little bit of splatter. And when this is all the way dry, I might do a couple of adjustments in the actual pen work, but I cannot do pen now. Why? It's wet. It's, it's wet. And it would ruin the pen, and it would ruin the painting as well. Look at those base colors. It's flowing so pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at this fun little stuff that's happening. Mm -hmm. And if I turn this up right now, um, we like if I want to run it, I'm going to run it strategically. Mm -hmm. So if we run it that direction, we're going to get this fun stuff happening in here and there. Mm -hmm. OK? okay? Mm -hmm. So what would you learn? I had something I learned I was going to say. That's muddy. It's, it's not the colors I want. It ran when I wasn't looking. Okay. So I'm going to say you can't have it. And it's very wet there, but if I just come and put an essence of color, we should be fine. Okay. Um, that ran, I don't mind that. I can come back and do a little bit of pen work. The juiciness of this I like. Mm -hmm. um, Almost as a marble. Look. You didn't do as many of the neutrals this time, did you? There aren't neutrals, but they're happening. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're starting to happen as it runs. Right in here, it's going to get neutral. It's very neutral here. Later, I would have to come back and hit a couple of the areas that are um, not needing a little more dark. That bothers me. So we're going to say you can't have it. I'm just, I love that, but I don't want all of this. And I could just let that run, and it will probably run up into it and be a different value. Okay? There you go. Linda Amon, Amon Arts. Welcome to my world.